All right, so I'm going to start. You always want to start with making it, adding clay, and then molding later. Make sure you keep the clay wet. And make sure you get the back of the T cross as much as possible. You want to make sure you know where it ends. Make sure your clay is wet, wet, wet. Because air dry clay tends to dry really quickly. So you have to mold.
and quickly get to where you need to be quickly. Or you have to keep on wetting it. That's the only problem with air dry clay. You can't stop. You can take breaks, but if you take breaks, you're going to have to make sure you stop at a point where you feel like either you don't want to add additional clay or um, you're at a point where you don't need to detail as much. So that's the only snag with air dry clay. So here you can start seeing where the chest and shoulders are going to start coming together. Alright, I'll pause this now and I'll refine it some more and then we'll look at it later.